Hi and welcome back. Um, I'm sitting here in my uh, BMW uh, 6 Series uh, F13 and I wanted to talk to you today about these snap-in adapters that you can get for minis and BMWs. Um, I've accumulated um, a couple of these and it's kind of frustrating that when you've got one um, they're soon out of date because you no sooner have got the right one then suddenly you find out you've got the wrong one because you've changed your phone and I was kind of looking and thinking well these things are not cheap um, they're regularly on uh, eBay for sort of two three hundred pounds um, and even second-hand ones uh, still fetch quite a premium so they've introduced now an, an a universal one uh, which I was looking last night and was anything between 150 and 250 pounds so I thought I'd do something myself and see if I could come up with a way of using these things and as you can see from the sort of addition to uh, the adapter itself there I've installed these um, magnetic holders and uh, you would normally see these of course with something you know on the dashboard here to hold your phone in place and my idea with this was that actually if I could adapt this uh, to to fit on here um, then it allows me to use the adapter with any phone I want um, so long as I've got a metal plate um, fitted on the back as I've got with mine um, which is just um, you know a, a sort of a, a fitting that comes with the the plates on the um, on the phone holder so I'll show you that's the idea um, and I'll show you what I've done and the idea of this is not that it's going to you know there are other ways and means of using your sort of music um, in the car um, you can use a USB stick um, and a Bluetooth and so on but I just thought I'd you know see if I could make use of these adapters um, I picked this one up this week off eBay for 23 pounds and that's got a lightning connector on it so it's for a modern iPhone this was one I've had kicking around for ages. This has got the old 30 pin adapter on it. Um, but I've done the same thing again with this magnetic holder. Um, if you want me to show you how to take these apart um, and fit these holders, um, then leave me a comment in the section below and um, I'll put something together separately. But essentially, there's... Um, four screws at the bottom to take the first layer off there's another screw inside the second layer um, and that allows you to get into the body of the mechanism itself here so um, I'll put one in place uh, mine sits here in the armrest um, so there's my adapter cradle um, so I'll put one in there and then show you how it works and what facilities it gives me in the car. So, I'll be back in a second. So this first one is with the old 30 pin connector. Um, and actually, my son, I think it was, had got an old iPod um, that he didn't use in the house. I think this one's 160 gigabytes. And what led me to use this was that I bought uh, an old laptop from somebody and he'd left all his music on there and when I show you what this holds now it's incredible um, so to fit onto this connector I fitted a magnetic holder so that's screwed into place there um, I actually fitted that where the little fan is uh, in the body of the piece itself and I actually went inside and just moved this 30 pin uh, connector from inside the body and then just super glued it up to here so now if I slide the iPod up to the connector sits in there and then 
it sits on that magnet because this is a metal body uh, and that's nice and secure in place won't move anywhere it's charging and it tells me I've got 75 gigabytes free and then when I now switch the ignition on to the car then my multimedia setting will come up just give it a moment um, all right so multimedia takes a moment for this to load so external devices and it's a big drive so as I say it'll take a minute just to show up on there um, once it does you'll see there we are Gary's iPod so click on there turn the volume down otherwise I'll get into trouble um, and if I go into search sorry wrong one go into search and you'll see that there's now 11,395 tracks uh, available to me um, off this iPod so and that's only half of the size of the actual drive itself um, so that's phenomenal so I've got everything I want all my albums etc on there huge amount of music storage um, accessible um, some of them have got the um, album uh, covers on so it'll come up with the album covers as well and uh, Turn the music down, sorry, otherwise. Um, so that was one aspect of this. So I can now use that. Um, it says that it's connected to BMW. Um, so it can happily sit there. Massive amounts of music storage on it. And um, that is all available to me now. Um, you can change the settings, of course, on the iPod to the volume to the to the gra um, equalizer settings etc so that was one aspect and um, my music on the car means that I've now got available to me uh, the iPod if I go back in I've got my own music collection um, which is in the hard drive of the car so the car on this particular model here has its own memory so you can install in the internal memory but as you can see that's zero free and um, what's that 20 gigabyte of memory in there so not a huge amount of memory is it 204 sorry 204 isn't it um, uh, megabytes of uh, gigabytes rather of space um, so yeah the, the, you can get bigger external memory than you can on the internal car memory I might be wrong there so apologies if I've got that uh, read that detail wrong um, but that gives me that as an external device and I can play around there with um, all of the search so as I say, if you're a big music lover and you want a lot of storage, that's certainly one way of doing it. Um, that media adapter, I think that one was about £25, and that iPod was just sitting in the bottom drawer doing nothing. So that's one way. Um, I'll show you the other way with the new lightning adapter. Okay, so I've changed the adapters over. So this is the lightning adapter. And same principle put it in the car there fitted one of these magnetic holders to it the one this adapter was actually designed for an iPhone 5 and I think I've got an iPhone 8 at the moment um, so put the magnetic holder on um, left the little fan in place with this one if it's got the phone on there I thought that might um, be important 
Um, so I've bought one of these um, lightning female to male adapter cables. Um, this is a long one, I've actually got a short one on the way, but um, this one was fine, it works the same in principle. So adapt, uh, plug the adapter in, so immediately my phone tells me it's charging and then I can put my phone on there again nice and secure because I've got a metal plate in the back of the phone drop that on no problem that's all secure there and then I need to unlock the phone and we've got the BMW connect on here and then if I go back to sorry if I go back to my car so now I've got uh, my phone which has appeared, iPhone Agent GB, that's me, and uh, now if we go to um, external devices, uh, iPhone Agent, sorry I'm going over that again, go into menu, connected drive, and there we go. So now I'm into the BMW apps of the car, so additional apps and we've got all these available to us although I think to be fair we can't get all of these I'm Amazon music is uh, one that I use a lot Amazon and Spotify so if we click on Amazon um, I find that it just takes a moment to load from the car to the phone and uh, give it a minute and it should come up that we're into yeah, we've got some music there we are so Amazon music appears and this in getting is incredible now because I can go on to all of my Amazon music so go into cloud go into search let's say uh, pick a random letter P and there you go anything you want uh, a lovely night whatever that is La La Land and then the other way of doing it is that you can go to um, menu connected drive uh, additional apps let's pick um, Spotify and it will ask me to open probably open Spotify on my phone so give it a minute Spotify will come up in the car um, this is again incredible because this just opens up a massive catalogue to you of music. There we go. So Spotify and search. Let's just do a random search of somebody beginning with T, for example. There you are. This is straight off Spotify, Travis Scott. Look at that it's so fast and and it just opens up a massive amount of say of music to you um, so of course you've got all the normal functions so um, telephone for example um, then uh, switch my Bluetooth off beg your pardon so it's connecting via my Bluetooth to the uh, telephone so I've got my phone book there we go, everything in my phone book there. Um, so my um, phone works as normal. But with these adapters, um, then you get all of the um, extra ability of the, these have got um, cables in them that connect to your car's antenna. So this signal strength is much stronger. Um, so as you can see it's all connected to BMW it says currently so it says Spotify on there um, so you could close this all down and leave it in there and you've got everything at the touch of a button uh, from your um, iDrive control unit here so like I say that that it was just a way of using these adapter cradles um, I hope that's been helpful um, please uh, if you like the video give me a like and uh, share etc um, I try and just put these things together on my own so um, 
hope that it's been of some help to somebody out there with these ideas and as I say please leave me any comments uh, about how to um, take these uh, cradles etc apart they're not not overly complicated and um, you know if you can pick one up for a small amount of money um, then with a relatively low cost I think this extra cable here was a couple of pounds um, and one of these magnetic adapters that I use on there again these are generally about two or three pounds on eBay um, so that is now a modern version if you like for you know what probably about 30 pounds at the top um, to adapt it for the car so um, yeah any questions give me a shout but I um, hope that's uh, been of uh, some good use for somebody out there okay thanks a lot bye now